Okay, Lance. So you open the door. Roll for initiative. Come on. Go ahead. Roll for initiative. Roll for initiative. It's okay, take it. Oh, hello, adventurer. Nice to see you. I didn't see you there for some reason. We were just playing some Dungeons and Dragons, but you know, I'm feeling a little famished. What about you, Lance? I don't know if we've uh, introduced Sir Lancelot to you, but this is Sir Lancelot. Say hi, Lance. Okay. So, uh, why don't we go ahead and make a snack, Lance? Would you like a snack? Welcome back to... Okay. Welcome back to Nerd Culture Cooking. Uh, with... Welcome back to Nerd Culture Cooking. Last time we met, we made an amazing traveler stew. Oh my god, it was like really, really good. Um, this time, we are making a snack. Basically, you only need a few certain amount of items. Uh, it's kind of like a trail mix, but I think it's better. Um, I don't like the regular trail mixes that are in the store, because they suck. Here's what I'm going to um, make. It's called Iron rations. For this recipe, they give you a bunch of options what you can use, but uh, I'm going to use cashews, triscuits, or other uh, wheat crackers that are not copyrighted. I'm using dried mango. They say like dried apricots, you can use dried bananas, um, cranberries, but I, th I saw mangoes, I thought that would be really cool to use because I don't usually like dried fruit. I can't eat that crap. We'll try this one. And uh, you can uh, cut up an apple um, or some other uh, fresh fruits that are not dried. You want a hard or medium type of cheese. Cheddar, um, Asiago. I like Parmesan and uh, we had some Parmesan in the fridge straight from Italia. You need a salted meat like prosciutto, jerky. I have a uh, suprasata. Where I come from, they call it soupy. Why? I don't know, but I call it soupy. But like I said, it's gonna be very quick to make, um, so this shouldn't take uh, very long. It's pretty much just cutting things up and putting them uh, together to make a mix. Uh, I forgot to mention in my last video that I will post uh, where you can find it um, on Amazon or Barnes and Noble, etc. This recipe calls for four servings. Um, I'm only going to be making one serving this time um, because it's only me. So loud! <laughs> All right, uh, so let's get cooking. Okay, so first I'm going to cut up the mango uh, into bite-sized pieces. Um, like I said, I'm using dried mango. You can use um, dried apricots, dried bananas, dried cranberries, whatever uh, suits your fancy. And next, I'm gonna cut up the apple into bite-sized pieces as well. Um, you can use other fruits as, as well, maybe like a pear or something. Um, I wouldn't recommend like citrus, like something like an orange, because I'm sure that could uh, really make it a mess. <laughs> Folks, you have no idea how good this Parmesan smells. It is just so fresh. Oh, mamma mia. We will open up the soupy. I'm really excited. I don't know if it's spicy or not, so we're gonna we're gonna try it out for ourselves. Ooh, yeah, that's fresh. Mmm, <laughs> that is good. It's a little greasy though. And then one more slice for me. Mm. Now we're going to put it together on this plate. However, we have these uh, wheat squares that we also need to 
destroy. Uh, so I'm just going to move all this over here first. Ooh, fun. This is actually more than one serving, I'm sure. Um, but we can pretend that I have friends. So we're just gonna, oh shit. I guess do it a little uh, daintier. mix it around a little bit and there you have it well that was uh, quick and easy I want to thank you all for watching again and uh, I'm gonna try out this new iron ration here uh, if you get a little bit of everything here Okay. Huh. These guys know what they're doing with this cookbook, let me tell ya. I'm gonna go enjoy this now. I hope to see you next time when we cook another recipe from Hero's Feast. Um, and we will see you again.